Matthew, you had to come up with a way to play a showdown. You came up with a perfect one, didn't you? That style of footy, the way in which you played it, perfect. I didn't do much tonight, but the boys were, yeah. I, I, firstly, I'd say 50,000 plus fans. It was a huge turnout. And our guys, you know, so proud of the, the fact that they rose to the occasion again. You know, we wanted to challenge the best. We've wanted to do that all year and we've been able to do that, you know, consistently. Um, so I'm really proud of both these guys, obviously Tex and his group, but really proud too of our supporters that came out because the atmosphere was electric. Um, and it was a fantastic effort across the board. I, I, I don't think, you know, I look at it and it was the consistency across our playing group. Um, we were just rock solid. There wasn't one player that didn't contribute today. It's a really pleasing. The key to it, the way in which you just attack the ball, frustrate, suffocate the opposition when they move forward, all those key areas ticked off beautifully. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were tough tonight. We, you know, we knew that the challenge that we had ahead of us was a big one. Um, they're very strong through that midfield. They, um, you know, they've got some speed, they've got power, they've got a lot of talent. <clears throat> we knew that if the game was opened up, and we may struggle to go with that, but I thought that was an area, a key area of the game. You know, and Matty Crouch was huge inside. You know, he brought, I'd say, a harder, stronger body, and we needed that on the night. He wasn't the only one, Laird, coming back in after you know, being out. I thought Dorse was big in, in through that area. Harry Schoenberg probably played his best game that that I've seen him play. So that that area was was critical for us getting the result <coughs> tonight. So experience does count in the midfield? Yeah, I think tonight, I think we had a really good balance through the midfield. You know, Saligo going in there, Schoenberg in there as well. Um, you know, we had Brodie Smith play a slightly different role tonight as well. So, yeah, as I said, really pleasing. And then you look at the guys behind the footy. <laughs> Mark Keane comes in and, and looks like he's been doing it for, for a long time. Um, we will, uh, we'll, f we'll follow up with Butsy. I know you'll ask the question just around his foot. We're, we're fearful that may be a, a fractured foot, but we don't know yet. Um, we'll have our fingers crossed for him, but um, that was really pleasing to see that guys are stepping up when they're given the opportunity again back to our squad and how important that squad of 45 is. On Crouch and Laird, I guess, in the past, it's kind of been seen, you know, that they can't really play in the same side, but I guess they're able to give you that um, domination of clearances to yeah, we, well, I mean, we've looked at the balance through our midfield of what that balance looks like, and we've been doing that for a number of years. And that, the balance is about, it's not just age, it's about uh, inside, outside, what other positions they can play, you know, what flexibility it gives us. As <coughs> as but tonight, I think we, you know, we, we, we challenged our group and they stood up big time, especially through that midfield sp um, space. You know, Riley O'Brien gave us first use early, so we got a bit of momentum going our way, but... But it takes the mids to be on body and to be physical, and you know, I thought our pressure was huge. Did you think that was an area where you could exploit Port Adelaide? Given I guess you had more experience, bigger bodies, and then in that midfield. Oh, well, yeah, I think we we came in, we knew, you know, we play our best footy, we know we can match it with anyone. Um, but there are challenges that come with that. You know, it doesn't happen that easy. You don't just it's come in with more mature bodies or stronger bodies, you've still got to get the job done. I thought we had a great balance through there because there was a fair bit of outside ball. There were times where I thought the game went their way. I thought there were times where we had it on our terms. For the majority of the night, we we controlled the game. Just Twice on that route, I mean, there's so much external interest in him. Uh, give us some insight into how he's been able to deal with the year, being outside the team and coming into form at a crucial time for you this season. Yeah, well, we can't. it's unquestionable what he's done this year in challenging circumstances where he's an experienced player that wants to play and he's had some guys playing ahead of him at times and we've had some great results as a team. Um, we've had some disappointing ones but not too many where we've been a long way off. So, you know, we've lost some games this year that we know we could have got, got it done if we'd played four quarters. So for, for Matty, it's, it's hard. But he's done outstandingly well. He's worked with younger guys at SNFL. He's played at the level every week and said, I'm ready to play. And when the opportunity showed itself, he's, he's come in and now stood up two weeks in a row um, and shown that, you know, although the level is a, it's a step up from where he's been playing, he was able to adjust um, automatically. Twice this year you've put more than 100 points against Port Adelaide, which is a rare thing to do. How much does it make a difference to have a spearhead like Taylor then for that task? Oh, he goes all right. <laughs> he's, uh, oh, what more can you say? I think when we give him opportunities, he delivers. And he did that again tonight. You know, 
he wasn't the only one. I thought Fogg was great up ahead of the ball as well. I thought Shane McAdam gave us a contest. But what we do know is if we if we play the way we need to play, then we give um, yeah we give this big boy a chance to do what he does. And tonight he he did it um, exceptionally well and deserved the medal. How much has that too? changed, Taylor? That you now have this great flow of football to you. After a couple of years ago, it just looked like a really slow movement of Adelaide. Now you've got all these opportunities coming your way. Oh, when you play more games together as a group, you get an understanding of each other. So we've been able to do that for a period of time now. And um, up the field, as a forward, I rely heavily on how the ball's moved. But at times, you need to be able to compete ahead of the ball. It's not always going to come in um, shoulders out. So yeah, you've got to have a great balance of being able to compete, but also when the boys are running at the game and give me a good look, it's it's pretty nice to get on the end of a few. How does it feel to win, finally, take finally win a showdown medal? Yeah, it was nice, yeah, a little, nice little feather in the cap, but like I said, I, it could have gone to anyone. I thought Riley O'Brien was outstanding in the ruck. Brody Smith on the wing was very good. Obviously, Matt inside was outstanding, so we had some pretty good performances across the board. We probably had 23 that played there played their role, they could say that they were pretty good um, throughout the night. So when you have 23 players doing that, it, it makes the game a lot easier. Is it the most satisfying, I guess, individual award you've gotten in your career? I know you've been named Catalan uh, twice. Individual awards doesn't bother me, mate, to be quite honest. I'm just happy that at the back end of my career, um, we've kept our finals hopes alive. Um, we've made it a little bit harder for ourselves, but um, there's still light at the end of the tunnel for us. And, We've got a big game next week in Gold Coast. I think they won yeah. quite easily. So yeah, it's going to be another hot contest. We've just got to try and win every game and uh, have a taste of finals footy. Tell how much of this new energy that you have is about the hard work you do in the pre-season? How much is about the energy you just get off your teammates because they're flying at the moment? Well, you know what it's like, Roach. When you get a little bit older, when it's a bit cold, and you, it can start to become a bit of a chore. but. We've got an unbelievable group that um, prioritise others, and um, it makes my job. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a job. I, it, well, it is, it is a job, but it's one of the best jobs in the whole entire world. I'm very lucky to be able to go into a footy club and um, work in an elite um, performance. And yeah, I just want to keep doing it for as long as I can whilst I'm playing good footy. Was there any temptation to try and go for that eighth goal, and it would have been a showdown record? Nah. Do you keep an eye on the Coleman medal? I mean, and we go Charlie Kern on the past four nights really put some distance, but you're back in it now. Do you think of the Coleman medal at all? Because that's the narrative it's took. Have you got mates? How many have you heard from? Oh, they just don't. They're relentless, my mates. So <laughs> even if I don't look at it, they'd, they'd tell me, mate. So yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, it'd be nice. I'd, I'd be lying if I say I didn't think it would be nice, but. To me, I just want to play finals again. It's been a long time since this footy club's played finals, and it's uh, what we play footy for is to play finals. So if we can do that, I'd be more content with that. What's it like living on the edge of that finals at the moment? You're living right on the edge. What's that like? Oh. Well, we've got to win pretty much every game to not have to worry about every other team doing this and doing that. So if we can do that, then. I think we can pretty much put our name in the finals. Do you feel like you're in career best nick at the moment or close to, you know? Oh, it's been, it's been nice to play some good footy for sure, but I think as a group we're playing a lot better footy. So, like I said before, if we can keep playing some good footy, you know, our mids were outstanding tonight. And then our boys down back, they're starting to get some real strong synergy down there. So, if we can keep playing like that, um, it makes my life easier ahead of the ball and fog and, and filthy in Shano, so. Did you enjoy Sloaney's mark in front of the hill on Travis I, actually, I had a little giggle, actually. It was pretty, I didn't think he would jump over to Tally Ho paper, but he sat on both his head, so nah, it, was, it was good fun. Oh, Very I good fun. guess Nitsy kind of mentioned before, but Mark Keane had come in and have his debut in a showdown. I guess he's now the most experienced key defender that you've got fit. So, I mean, it's kind of a remarkable story for him at the moment. Well, it is, yeah. For someone to be so brave, he was on Collingwood's list, went home, and then to move country again to come out and have another crack at it, it's pretty brave. Um, but the good thing for our footy club is our Sanford team are playing awesome footy, so whoever gets called up, whenever they get called up, we know they're in good form, and we've seen that 
two weeks ago with Nang. Saw it again tonight with, with Keeney. So, yeah, we, we talk a lot about the squad mentality. So, um, if our Sanford team can play, keep playing some good footy, it puts pressure on the guys in the AFL side. Have you seen him grow this year? I mean, I know he probably, he's probably on you a lot during matches. Then. Have you seen him, I guess, grow since Keeney? You, yeah, since you've oh. back. Yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. Um, he's done a lot of hard work to get to where he is, so it's a um, great reward for what he's been able to do. And um, yeah, he's probably going to play the next three or four games, I suppose, um, with Butsy hurting his foot and Muzz going down. So when injuries happen, it, it gives someone else an opportunity. Matthew, how priceless is that walk at a keys moment for your team ethos, your team belief? That you can show that forever and ever that that's what you stand for. We yeah we show that weekly, you know. There's there's been <coughs> there's been a fair bit of that this year where, you know, we've seen Isaac a number of times. Mm. You know, we've these guys have, have bought into team. There's no question on that. Um, I think you go back and you look at every week. There's there's guys looking after other guys. Yeah, you know, there's occasions where you've given balls off yourself. I know he's at Coleman's. Everyone's talking about the Coleman. That it doesn't change the way we play. I think our priority at the moment is to win as a team, and that's the most pleasing part. And that's that's both levels. You know, we, we had a great win in SNFL again today in the pre-game, in the curtain raiser. So our group's in a really good space. You know, something you don't want to take for granted, but we also got great people at the footy club and great players, so yeah, really proud of what they've been doing. Can you just fill in the gap? What was the rethink on Saliga <laughs> that you then put Sloan in as a tactical side. What was the rethinking on that one? Um, well, look, Sloaney was more about... I mean, similar to our opposition, in a way. We've... Yeah, our planning... We've we've managed Sloaney really well this year in-game and, you know, playing 60%, 70% game time here and there. Um, coming into a six-day break, the last six-day break we had, um, his, his performance wasn't at its peak in the next game. And so we sat down and we talked through that because ultimately we want to have the best possible team and best performance we can put out there. And to Sloane's credit, he's open to that conversation and saying, whatever the team needs, I'll do. And so this week, yeah, in the end, I guess we can only go on the result. We, we performed really well as a team and, and he had eight score involvements in a half of football. So you know, to come on and perform the way he did, you know, I think we made the right decision there. Hopefully that also you know, keeps him reasonably fresh for the, for the remaining games. Three big guys down back. I mean, how, how tough a task is that to, to reshuffle the deck? I want to go down back. If you want. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've still got players that are ready to step up. I mean, this week, I mean, Mark Keane came in. James Borlase had as much right to come in and play tonight as Mark Keane. And in the end, Keane got the nod. Um, James Borlase is playing great footy at SNFL level. So, you know, there are guys that will continue to step up. Um, and be ready to go for us. Um, it's not easy, though, to replace. Um, I'm not sure what's happened in our backs room. I, I, I don't know what we've done there. I'll have a talk to Scotty Burns, but we, we're having no luck when it comes to key defenders. Um, but uh, the pleasing part is we, we've got a really strong squad that are ready to step up whenever called upon. Can you play finals now? You get to August and you're still alive. Yep. Can you play finals? Yeah. Win four more games. We'd, we'd, we'd go out to win every game of footy, so we've just got to put the head down now and, and the next one's Gold Coast. So the, the challenge just keeps getting bigger. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.